This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. This next cable is a traditional woven cable over six stitches. I'm including one more cable here. I just want to make sure that I cover the traditional woven cable that is so often included in air and hand knitting patterns. I am doing my little crisscrosses again, this time in groups of two. Now this is six stitches wide and I've marked the needles on the bed. I've got a brown mark at six stitches wide and a red mark at four stitches wide. The six stitches wide part of it is going to be this first transfer row. I'm always putting the left stitch down on this first transfer row. So the left stitch that goes down goes behind the right stitch that goes down second and when you're facing it up from the other side you see the left stitch in the front. You knit just two rows for a traditional woven cable. Then for the alternate transfer row we'll use the red mark. I've moved in by one stitch. We're not doing anything with the in needle for this and we are switching we are doing the right stitch going down first on this row. And there are only two of these, so it's pretty quick. Right stitch goes down first, then the left stitch goes down. Knit two rows, and you go back to the first one which was starting on the brown mark, left stitch goes down first, then the right, and you do three of these. Left first, then right, Then right, knit two rows, do two. That's the entire pattern. You're going to repeat those two different kinds of transfer rows all the way up. And every so many rows, once again, I'm going to latch a stitch just outside the cable. So let me do that once I get this group of transfers in just to make this little video complete. I don't like to omit all the things I showed on previous videos because you might not be doing them in order. So to latch up the stitch beside the cable, I'm going to drop the first needle stitch after the brown mark and then I'm going to unravel and latch up same thing on the other side Now I'm going to keep doing repeats and come back and show you how the finished cable looks. Here is that finished woven cable. This is similar to another cable I did that had a strong diagonal look, but because the direction alternates on this, you get the woven look. If you pick out one of the vertical ridges, you can see it going under, then over, then under, then over.